All right, so we have the full reveals of the upcoming G.I. Joe Classified figures that are coming out today. There was quite a bit of doubt yesterday, including myself, doubting whether or not these figures would be any good. Um, there's still a little bit of doubt, but there's a little bit more of a glimmer of hope right now. Now, with the Storm Shadow one, I think that was the most talked about one yesterday. We all kind of were like, oh my God, what have they done to Storm Shadow, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I still don't think it's a perfect figure by any stretch of the imagination. I, I don't like the kilt on it. I think the belt's too high on it, but it's one of those figures, and I did say it yesterday, that it needs to be in a pose. You can't take straight on shots with them. And if you notice a lot of the shots that they're doing with Storm Shadow, they're kind of staying away from straight on shots with him. He's doing the splits. He's down on one knee. Is it a perfect figure? No, they could have done better with it. But I think there's a little bit more hope. Am I going to be jumping out to get it? No, absolutely not. I'll wait a bit. If I see it on a deal down the line, perhaps. Uh, the Iron Grenadiers, um, again, the bat is just another repaint. It looks good. It's always been a nice mold. But again, a lot of you also mentioned about the lack of weapons and accessories being the same old, same old with them. So, I mean, I think the Bat gr Iron Grenadier is probably the best looking of them all, to be honest with you. And then the Iron Grenadier guy, just, I, I, I don't know, it's not really feeling him as that much, to be honest with you. And as we go through Storm Shadow here again, we've been talking about Storm Shadow is the talk of the of this whole classified series. Again, so you got him down on one knee there with the bow and arrow. Like, you know, the accessories are there. They paid homage to the version two, which was 1988. Sorry, I said 87 yesterday. You know, I do have the original figure. So you guys want to check out the uh, video on that. Again, the kilt can be lost. I, some people mentioned about customizing it. Again, you're looking at a market here, like including myself. I don't have time to customize stuff like this. Like, I just want a figure that looks good, right? So, anyway, uh, Alpine. Ooh, there's another debate on this one. They're staying away from tight shots on him as well. A lot, someone mentioned yesterday his right eyebrow looks faded a little bit. So, I don't know if that's a QC issue. If that's going to happen with the, these figures. Some G.I. Joe classified figures, sometimes some of the paint jobs on their face sculpts are not that good. So, Anyway, drop a comment below. You guys can check out more over at Toy News International. Link in the description of the video and let us know who you're going to pick up.